Hey everyone, it's Project SBC and I'm back today to show off my power control panel. This is going to be version 0.3.0 when it releases, which should be in about a week, I think. Let's go over some of the new features, what's been changed, what's been removed, so you can get an overall impression of what it will be like to use this. So let's start with the status page, which you are somewhat familiar with, except now I've baked in the change values into the status page. So there is no more change values tab. You change everything one at a time. So if I wanted to change PL1, I could go in here. I could either hit the drop down, pick a new TDP, or I could use these little buttons here. So right now it says eight watts PL1. And if I said, okay, let's do nine and hit change, it's gonna update it. And I've got PL1 as nine watts over there. I've got some new parameters that have been added. So power balance is back. I did have that in the really early version working of my software. Um, I also have EPP enabled here. I have unparked cores and for AMD, I have the GPU clock. So there are some new things to play with. Um, I also give you the option of turning those off if you don't wanna use those in the settings, which I'll show you later as well. Let's take a look at the max unparked cores. So right off here, I have the resource monitor and you can see the last two cores here are parked. If I go ahead and I change it, they're back online. Great, that works awesome. All right, let's go on to the next cool feature and I'm hoping it works correctly this time. So first off, let's take a look at the profiles. I used to have it set up so that you had to tie one EXE to one profile. That's changed. You can now add as many as you'd like to one profile, and you do that here in this list. So let's say profile one, I wanna make it uh, MS Paint, and let's say, I don't know, um, give it a second. It's actually applying the profile in the background because it recognized that I added that to the list. And let's say, uh, I don't have Notepad open anymore. Let's do Notepad. Notepad, add exe, and then let's go save profile, and let's add a new profile, edit it. And let's add one of the other things here to it. Let's do WinStore app. Let's go ahead and add that. So let's see, profile, so right now I have it set up so that MS Paint and Notepad are profile one and profile two is the wind store. So let's go and start opening and closing things to see how it behaves. So right now it says it's picked up MS Paint as the active EXE, which is under profile one. Let's go ahead and let's get rid of paint. And let's see what happens. Okay, and now we've switched over to Notepad, which is still under Profile 1. So if I came over here and I said, let's turn off Notepad, let's see what happens. And we're over to the WinStore app, great. So that is profile number two. So if I said, let's close the Microsoft Store, it's gonna go back to none. And uh, I forgot to change that. Okay, that's a little bug and we'll fix that later. So this should have gone back to, oh no, 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 I'm sorry, that's right. Active profile is still profile two because I don't have a default profile set. That's great. Let me go back and open up Notepad and see what happens. And we're back to Notepad under Profile 1. So that's awesome. So right now we have the ability to set multiple EXEs to one profile. And you can see those two right there. Now, 
understanding that you may not know which exe you put to which profile you can also go see the master list right here so you can see the exe and the profile name all together and if you need to you can delete them from here as well so go back to profiles let's go take a look at these settings now, i don't have all the settings up here i don't have x input and keyboard set up yet but i do have the parameters and general set up so of course there's notifications start at boot up that's there as well the rw delay which is for intel only and it will hide if you are an amd user you also have set max allowable tdp so if you noticed in the last time i was in there 20 was the maximum that you could do under the status tab so if i went over here and i said 25 and i said save settings and it tells you it's saved you can now go back to the status page and you can see some of those changes. I also wanted to show you this real quick. If you don't want to use some of these features, you can actually disable them. So if I said, no, nah, I don't want to do unparked cores or Intel EPP, you can say no. I will say no to all of them just to show you that everything hides when it isn't in use. So no. And say save settings. Let's go back to the status tab. So we're going to see two changes. We're going to see the TDP is now changeable up to 25 watts and everything that you didn't want to see is now gone. And if I get this little drop down here, you're going to see it's at 25. So um, if you set it, even you type in 30 here, it's not going to change. It's just not going to let you. So you have to put in a value that's less than the maximum that you have set. So it is now 25 and you can set basically anything you want. You can't set anything less than five either. Five is my minimum. If you try and set it too low, your computer will probably crash. So let's not do that either. But there you go. And even if I say plus five, plus five, it stops before it'll go above 25. So that is cool as well. And we also saw that all the extra values that we didn't want to see are now hidden. That also applies to the profiles. If I go in here and I said, well, what do I have for the battery and dock values? We're just going to have PL1 and PL2. Everything else is hidden, and you're more than welcome to re-enable those in the settings whenever you would like. And we'll go back and we'll just see the profiles real quick just to show you that it did get added back. And there they all are. So that is pretty much everything I have to showcase this time around. I do got to add the controller and keyboard quick shortcut changes in. That is going to be pretty quick to do. And I'm just going to do a little bit of debugging. I've reached out to a couple of my fellow colleagues and YouTubers to see if they'll test this out so we can get this into your hands quicker. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you uh, go check out my GitHub page, stay subscribed for changes to my power control panel. Like I said, expect this out in about a week. And uh, thanks for watching.